Now I know taking public transport in any uh, city that you don't know can always be a bit daunting. And I know a lot of people don't like taking public transport in Thailand, but we're gonna give it a go. This is the big main road, not far from my hotel. And you can see it is many lanes wide, but on all these big roads, there's generally uh, an easy way to cross. And just up here, uh, a few yards or so, is a little overpass. So nice and easy. Now, another option for getting around Bangkok are these great little motorbike taxis. Um, I've used them. I hope you can hear me. I've used them once or twice, but I'm a little wary. You never quite know if the guy who's going to be riding the motorbike taxi is a good rider or not. They're always friendly, but you see them dodging in and out of the traffic and I'm not always 100% comfortable with them. If it's a little journey, I'm okay. So, look at this wiring. Up the stairs. Now, I don't know why the overpasses along this road anyway are a lot higher than they need to be. You literally tower above the traffic quite disconcerting okay now I can see a lady down there uh, she's waiting for the bus the little blue sign is a bus stop now there are two bus routes that I'm interested in one is the red bus not air conditioned not too keen on that one and the other one is an orange bus and what I've seen on this road they go pretty regular there's a red bus now 145 non air conditioned i'm not going to run for it because i'd rather get the orange bus if you can if the weather's hot get on the ac bus i don't know if it's going to be ac as we know it see all these fellas here they're all the uh, the motorbike taxis ready cap this uh is my bus stop it, it doesn't have a great deal going on. Okay, let's get a wait for a 145 orange bus to the Mole Banker P. I don't know how long it'll be. Now, of course, the other way to get around is the way I've been using most of the time. You'll see these uh, taxis, they come, it's okay, uh, with, the, with the red light on. That means they're available for hire. And there's loads of them. There's a blue one coming here. The lady's going up on the uh, the motorbike taxi, another taxi, a, ta a taxi going. These guys will go the wrong way up the, up the street every time. You never know. And I'm facing backwards to the traffic. There's a motorbike taxi coming up behind me. Now, good tip. In this hot Bangkok weather, find yourself a bit of shade. Just a shade from this iron girder will do. Stay out of the heat. It'll dry you out. Now, two red buses have gone past since I've been here. I think this could be an orange one coming though. Yeah, looks like there is. So it's been about five minutes. We've got an orange bus. Two reds have gone past. I was tempted to jump in the last red one. It was pretty much uh, close to empty. But I think uh, we've got one fella coming up here. Nice orange bus. Here we go. It's mighty cap. Okay, so she's chocolate block. You can see it's air conditioned, nice and cool. No seats, but that's all good. It's nice and cool. I'm not sure how we end up, uh, buddy cup. Everyone's uh, really friendly. So we've got about 20 minutes now. This, if you were sat down in here, this is a nice air conditioned bus. They've got the curtains are drawn on the right hand side where the sun's up. Good as any bus I've been on really in, in many countries in the world. Friendly staff. You're gonna pay when you get off by the looks of it. I've never done this before, so I don't know entirely whether you're meant to pay when you get on or when you get off. Just double checking, it does go to the uh, 
because I am actually meeting someone today and uh, you've either seen that already in this video or you'll see it a little bit later on. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off now. It's uh, all good. Talk to you later. Okay, so it's 15 baht. Sorry. Lady's got a little box, little ticket. Scarf, and cup. <laughs> so that was 15 baht. That's around about 50 cents. So a, a great deal cheaper than getting the Uber or the, uh, the, the taxi. Hello, little baby. Hello. So I got myself a, a seat next to a, a lady with a beautiful little baby. You're perfect in the perfect way. You're perfect and I hope you stay. Your goofy little self eternally. Oh, I'm weird like you. I know it's true. I'm in the clouds up there with you. You think you're flawed, but wouldn't you agree? You're perfect for me. Bye bye. I think I met the youngest vlogger in Thailand. So, yeah, super luck. Got, uh, I mean, this is just like traveling on a bus in any country in the world. It's lovely and cool. I sat next to nice people. Now, the lady at the front, if you talk to them nicely, they'll, they'll give you the heads up. You can also use your, your GPS on your phone if you've got it and just have a little look, keep an eye on the uh, direction you're going in. But if you say the stop or the area you're going to to the girl at the front of the bus, to give you the heads up and let you know where you've got to get off. So there are a lot of ways of getting around the city really. Um, I've used the Uber, which is which is okay in Thailand. It's not the best Uber around uh, Asia is better in some countries. Thailand's a little bit iffy. Okay, so, so she just called out Mol Bang Kapi and next stop to Mol Bang Kapi, so it's all good. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So a lot of people getting off at this stop. Thank you. So we're at the mall. That was nice and easy. Just whoop, let the, the light adjust. Just check when you step out of the buses also. You know that little area. I think the bikes tend to be fairly wary of it, but um, you know, you've got to be careful on the streets in Bangkok. This is the mall. So how easy was that? That was about 20 minutes in an air-conditioned bus for about, well, 15 baht, whatever the exchange rate is where you are. I think for me in Australian dollars, that's about maybe 60 cents. Okay, let's get a look out and see if my, my buddy that I've come to meet, now I'm early, so I suspect he's not here, is meeting me in his office. His office in oh other side now be careful that door there by the way for the mailbox people you're not allowed to go in because it's just security checks and i've done that many times you go in and there's a sign here that says in and if you try to go in that door he turns you around because you have to go you have to go through the metal detector here we go and why i don't know because i am chocker with metal and they never stop and search you. But it's nice that they've got a security in place. And there is the big man himself, Scott Malon, my American in Bangkok. Look gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call myself that. <laughs> Scott's taken me to a traditional Thai restaurant. Sort of traditional Thai. You're perfect in the perfect way. You're perfect and I hope you stay. Your goofy little self eternally. Oh, I'm weird like you. I know it's true. I'm in the clouds up there with you. You think you're flawed, but wouldn't you agree? You're perfect for me. So you've got a little sticky rice, a little bit of seaweed, a little bit of um, a little bit of eel on top. Still got the skin on. Flavour's great. Beautiful. So we've got the, the salmon, the scarlet sauce. Oh man. 
that is so good. If we can get the same bus back, we're the opposite side of the road, so I'm guessing this bus stop will take us the 145 back to the hotel. And then I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it. But you can see coming out here was pretty simple. Uh, milk. Cup on cup. Thank you. And I got refreshments on the weight as well. So it's like a like a sort of yakko. It's always going to be pretty hot. I think it's the hot season here in Bangkok, so you're always going to get that warm weather. And that's why I'm taking the air-conditioned bus rather than the non-air-conditioned bus. So I might have to let. I might have to let one or two uh, red buses go by before I get a cool indoor bus. There's another orange one coming through here. 73. Now, if you get too hot in Bangkok, you can always go into a 7-Eleven. There's one just beside me here. I don't know if you can see it below the hedge line here. There's always a 7-Eleven, fully air conditioned, very cool. You can get a cold drink in there, no problem at all. Okay, I bottled out. I got on the 145 non-AC because Oh, that's a little bit of a, a panic there. I thought I got on a 514 just pulled up and I got a 145. And the 145 is right, of course. But I didn't want to end up going to the wrong spot. So the only difference really, this bus is not air conditioned. But there's this time of day, we're looking about three in the afternoon. There's good airflow through the bus. And I'm going to be back in about 15-20 minutes, so we'll give this a try. But there is one disadvantage on a hot day like today, when it stops in heavy traffic. The girl opposite, opposite me was saying uh, she was hot because she's on, on the, they're on the sunny side of the bus. We're on the shaded side of the bus, so it's a lot cooler this side. But when it stops, maybe at traffic lights, gets a little bit slowed down, then it gets pretty hot. So that's it, we've done the uh, air conditioned 145 up there. This one's been a little hotter. Um, we'll stop, hopefully we're gonna stop just near my hotel. So that works out just perfect. There we go, so the red bus 145 coming off the same direction. We're on the same road. There's my bus. Wasn't so bad. I mean, when it's a hot day, so when it stops in the sun at the traffic lights, if you're on the sunny side, that's going to be a little bit hot. Make sure you've got plenty of water with you. But I think it's a fairly painless way of getting around the city. Remember, Bangkok is a city that's bursting with people, and I think they do a really good job. You've got the Songtao, you've got taxis galore, you've got Uber, as I said, Grab Taxi, which is another service that's online. Um, I've done that trip there and back. By the way, that was seven bar. So the whole journey there and back was 22 bar. That would have cost me probably close to 500 bar if I'd gone uh, with an Uber. Agree. You're perfect for me.